a giant clock tower in the middle of a roundabout that you can climb to the top this is a new kalpa clock tower keep watching to see the view from up there hi guys i'm moses and i'm divya we together love to explore new places in uae and around the world If that is something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Today we're going to check out Kalba's newest attraction which is the clock tower. But some basic information before we go in. Um for the location, you just need to check on Google Maps for Kalba Clock Tower Square and it'll bring you right here. Timing, we leave the different timings across the different days on the screen right now for your reference. And yes. entrance is absolutely free. Sorry guys, we didn't know this earlier, but there's an entrance fee of 5 rupees to go up into the clock tower. But the area that the clock tower is in is similar to Buhera Cornish if you're familiar with the one in Sharjah, so you can definitely plan an entire day of picnic when you come to visit the clock tower and parking is also super easy. Just leave your car on the same side as the water. So everything sorted now. Let's go in. Since the clock tower itself is in the middle of a roundabout, we need to go through an underpass to get to that side. The entire walkway is filled with pictures of the clock tower, the ruler of Sharjah and beautiful spots around Kalba. When we enter the building, we're going inside through the basement level. Right when you enter is where you need to pay for your ticket. When we went, they were only taking cash payments and not cards, so make sure you carry cash with you. There are two floors that are accessible to visitors. The first one is the fifth floor, where there's a beautiful restaurant called Gardenia Cafe. Here you can sit down and enjoy the view of Kalba with a cup of coffee or perhaps a meal even. This level is actually 33 meters above ground and offers stunning views of the surrounding lake as well as the city. It's a small but quaint cafe offering 180 degree views to everyone that sits inside as all the tables are against the edge near the windows. It also has a stunning floral structure where you can take some amazing pictures. We got coffee and a dessert called Umali Kunafa. The coffee is both tasted amazing. It was one of the better coffees that we've had in UAE. Lately we've been just loving Umali so we were so excited to see this on the menu. What makes this an Umali Kunafa is the crunchy kunafa coating on top but underneath the layer is all Umali. So good. Really? This was our bill which to be honest was a little bit expensive but if you want to forgo the entire cafe floor you can do that and head straight to the 7th floor which is the general observatory This is the view from the topmost floor of the clock tower which is about 46 meter above ground if you want to totally skip the cafe and come here you can do that it's pretty much the same view all around again offering 180 degrees of views of kalb After the seventh floor, we made it to the courtyard on the ground floor by climbing up the stairs from the basement. The courtyard, or the actual roundabout, was a huge area of 2,100 square meters, and this was actually created with the theme of a clock, whereby you have 12 bigger fountains that are denoting the hours in the clock, and 60 smaller fountains which denote the minutes on the clock. You can also appreciate how high the clock tower is, which is about 60 meters. and the intricate modern islamic designs that covers the wall and if you're wondering about the face of the clock it has a diameter of 5 meters and it lights up beautifully at night so how cool was this clock thing clock tower guys we really enjoyed the drive up here and having that coffee with the view from up there if you haven't followed us on instagram or tiktok make sure to do that because that's where you will see more such new places Because we posted about this one week before already, so follow us there. We leave our handles on the screen right now. But if you like this video, make sure to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such new places in the UAE. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.